So Unum ID is a single identity for everything in your life. It's a blockchain-based identity platform, which means your information lives only on your phone in the secure element encrypted. So no database, no more data breaches, no more mass identity theft. Our first application is in civics to secure our democracy. So the joke is it's the app Putin does not want you to have because it's stopping bots, it's stopping lobbyists, and it's stopping Russians for 2020. So how does it work? Tell the audience how this works. Absolutely. So Unum ID works by verifying your home address, your email, and your phone. By verifying your email and your phone, you can tell that this is a real person and not a bot. By verifying home address, you know that they're a constituent of a given district and a given state. So they can take actions like signing a petition or sending a message to their elected officials at the federal, state, and local level. So what kind of problems are you trying to solve with this? Absolutely. So the main thing is helping people stand out. So currently in the political system, there's a massive problem with identity fraud. So the classic example of this is the FCC and net neutrality. So the FCC had a comment period about net neutrality in 2017. 22 million comments, 94% of those comments were fake or duplicate, as determined by Pew Research after three months of looking at the data. We're baking in identity from the start. Right now, bots and Russians and lobbyists outnumber real Americans 19 to 1 in the political system. That's unacceptable. You can't have a representative democracy that works well when that's the case. So tell me a little bit more about the applications of this. I mean, who is the audience that you're, you're aiming for? Who can use this? Absolutely. So currently, any American can download it. Right? It's live in the App Store today. Anybody can use it. Can I use it? I'm not an American. Yes, you certainly can. Uh, you can use it as a verified person, not as a verified constituent right now. In the future, this will be used for all sorts of different aspects of identity as well. You can use this in healthcare. You can use this when signing up for a bank account. You can use this when signing up for shared economy applications like Uber, Lyft, Airbnb. What about the people who don't have the economic viability to necessarily buy the smartphones? Uh, how do they fit into the equation? That is a fantastic question and something we think a lot about. First thing to note there is that an amazing statistic recently is more Americans have a mobile phone than have a driver's license. So this is something that's absolutely ubiquitous and is a true form of identification in the modern world. That said, it's super important to think about people who you know, may not have access to a mobile device. Maybe their you know, homeless population in San Francisco is a huge deal. We think about that every day on our way to work. And so we are actually developing specs right now for things like a hardware implementation of this technology or ways to do it on chain so you're storing the data not only in an app, but also on a blockchain so it's accessible through a public computer. Best of luck. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much.